Link is in the bio. Um, come see our film! Yay! Okay. Like, who's that idiot? Watching old sketches from SNL, that was kind of my upbringing. So Steve Martin and Gilda Radner, that's what my dad was always, I don't know, he was always around. Mine, but I would probably say the first person that captured me entirely was Robin Williams. Ooh, yeah. Um, d just his energy and his generosity as a performer and his creativity was captivating and inspiring and, and intimidating. And it really, um, it really made me curious. Uh, Brooke just didn't stop nagging me about it um, for, <laughs> God, was it the past three years? years? I think the past three years, every year we're like, we're totally gonna make a short for the JRS Festival. <laughs> and then Brooke, to her credit, will call me and be like, let's do it. And we, in years past, we got together a couple times, but we just weren't able to make it happen. And then this year, she's like, okay, but for real, let's do something. And I, I matched her energy in that. I was like, yes, this is the year, let's do it. Um, like enough talking and enough making excuses and let's just let's just do it and uh, you know it's interesting about our process and you can speak more to this too we started with a concept that we didn't end up making and we wrote on that for actually longer than we ended up writing on the uh, the script for we're working on it right. which is what we end up making and it felt like a slog but we kept doing it and what the, where that ended up leading us was not to that project necessarily being completed, but to the idea that we both fell in love with that we ended up creating. Right. Okay, you, but then you have that awesome idea that you're like, oh shit, that's we it. found it, yeah, you know? And I remember I was literally driving mm -hmm. on the 101, driving downtown, <laughs> five mile an hour traffic, and I saw it. I saw, I just, you know. Yeah, but I was, I was super hesitant to creating my own content for a few years. Um, it was actually John Rosenfeld who, it kept like, you know, poking, like, mm -hmm. you should be doing this, you should be doing this. And there's something that is like, when someone's telling you to do something, at least for me, it's like, no, thank you. Like, oh, what? And what? Mm, no, You're like I'm that? an actor. I'm an actor. She's not like I'm that. not like that. I, I am a writer. I write every day. I write scenarios mm -hmm. in my head. I create characters. I've done it my entire life. I was the weird kid that was in the corner talking to myself because I was playing five different characters. So um, the fact that I just had to like accept that John was right and that I should be writing and creating. Uh, I will say that, you know, there's a lot of heart that both Brooke and I have put into this script. I mm -hmm. mean, it's it's rich with our own personal experiences and it's, it's not um, autobiographical, literally, but it, it is autobiographical emotionally, I think, in a lot of mm -hmm. ways in terms of the themes that we you know, are dealing with. I, I don't know if you felt this growing up and watching film, but being a woman growing up in the Disney golden age, you find Prince Charming and live forever and ever happily. Yeah. It's so, it's so false. Um, it I just mean, and, and vice versa, you right. know, as like, I, I watched a ton of Disney movies and, you know, growing up, I, you know, I feel like in a way I've always been looking for the princess, Sure. you know, to, to rescue or right. to whatever. And then, you know, you see how relationships show up in real life. And mm -hmm. what, what Brooke and I uh, were kind of struggling with or processing or wanting to represent in some way is this feeling of what it's like to be in love with somebody, want a relationship with them, uh, want it to work so bad, but having seemingly insurmountable problems and how do you navigate through them and can you navigate through them and when do you say mm -hmm. enough is enough? Mm -hmm. It holds emotion, it holds memory, it holds um, so much. Uh, rain. Mm. But specifically, and like not even city rain, country rain. Mm -hmm. Hearing it on the grass or on the field, I mean, that's home to me. Am I writing a song right now? Um, it sounds like <laughs> It's so comforting. It brings me a peace that I can't describe. It reminds me of Sundays after church in the middle of fall, coming home and the leaves are on the ground and taking naps after a big lunch. Like, it just, it's peace to me. It's my favorite sound. The way that my mom says my nickname, Philly, she always goes, <laughs> Philly! <laughs> and just something about that uh, was the first thing that popped into my brain. Um, 
but also just the sound of uh, people I love laughing together. Yeah. There's something uh, about the energy of that. And... Um, Laughter's healing. Yeah. If you find it compelling to see a film about a young couple who is really uh, struggling through what are very common relationship issues, mm -hmm. and that speaks to you in some way, and you might get some out of it, then, yeah, yeah. check it out. Um, and, you know, it's like, it's like eight minutes, so it's not like you're... <laughs> It's not like you're losing a lot by watching. It's not too painful. <laughs>